my role is to take care of all the IT applications and infra, but apart from that, uh, the entire online business, the digital business is what I had. And uh, happy to say that 30% uh, of our uh, B2C business happens completely online, especially on the holidays. So uh, digital business gives me an opportunity to understand the customer as well as the business better. And through my IT applications role, when I hear the IT hat, try to solve those problems. So, and doing these two things together is what is leading the digital transformation. So I would say it started with uh, not understanding the customer fully and if you don't understand the customer fully how will you solve their problem. So it started from that basic premise and where we started mapping the entire customer engagement life cycle with us. So right from the acquisition to conversion state to engagement to referral to when he's on tour, before tour, post tour, the entire experience we mapped it. And we mapped this entire journey on the CRM. And that's what was the, I would say, the starting point of our digital transformation. But going forward, we realized this is not enough. This is just the building block, that's the foundation. And on top of it, we started putting a lot of analytics in engine that because we have collected so much data and how to get the insights out of that data so that we can actually solve the real problem with the customer. So a lot of analytics layer was put on top of it. And then slowly we said that not only analytics and insight, how is it going to impact the customer experience? So I think what we started seven years back, the real results we are getting it now. So it's a long journey, but at, at, at the entire, in every milestone of that journey, we were trying to solve a different problem, but we have been able to reach the customer experience milestone only because we started it long back and we were able to collect that kind of data which helped us with analytics and then the insights and then we are able to take actions now. So one is the first and foremost which I told you almost 30% of my business is happening digitally which would not have been possible without the digital transformation. Because when you run an online business through the e-channel, when you're interacting only through the call center support or the chat, everything is happening digitally. You can't start that business without having the, the foundation of digital transformation. So that is contributing almost 30% of our B2C business. So that is one KPI that we had set for ourselves. Second is on the operational efficiency. We couldn't, could not have been able to scale our business which is growing at almost like a 10 to 15 percent year on year. I'm not talking about the online business, which grows at only 35 or 50 percent, but overall business growing at that scale without adding a lot of manpower. So it's a, like a linear scalability, which we have got. What we have got with digital transformation is a non-linear scale. So we are increasing business without adding a lot of manpower. And that is being provided only because of the technology infusion. And that technology infusion with the right insights and the right actions is helping us in achieving this. So I think the operational efficiency and the sales growth and together, this is the main KPI that uh, we have set for digital transformation. <laughs> When uh, seven years back, we were evaluating which CRM to take and uh, obviously the best in the world were presented and we did a lot of deliberations, but I really liked the, the service uh, functionality, the service module uh, of Oracle, which was uh, giving me much more flexibility. So we had different types of requirement for, let's say the call center and the branch and the agents, but but having a single CRM but different interfaces for these three and the fourth which was service layer which was sitting across all these three having a common thing. So this kind of flexibility we we're, we're not able to crack in other CRMs. Maybe over time they would have also evolved and tried to solve this problem but that time it was the best fit for our kind of business and that's why CRM and that's why Oracle. Mm -hmm.